Hello and welcome to another episode. This is a quick update on the unfolding story of the 2024 Hyundai Group ICCU recall. People keep on saying, isn't this a repeat of last year's um, summer update? And no, it's not. This is a different firmware number in the ICCU firmware. I've got the old Hyundai TSB from last year and the new one from this year. Last year's version has got an 11 in it and this year's version has got a 13 in it. So that tells me it's a new software version. Now, today, the EB6 has been added to the recall list on the, on the NHTSA website, so you can see details on there. And there's even more details and, and files and, and things to read on there, but, but no TSB yet. My own EB6 has got version 12 ICCU software. So mine is in between what was issued last summer and what's been issued this week. Now, if you put in um, a 2022 Kira EV6 into the NHTSA web website, that's the nhtsa.gov website, it shows the recall and a loss of dry power and damage charging unit, which is the ICCU. It's got the same details as I mentioned in the update during the week, but there are now uh, free associated documents. So you've got the, the recall acknowledgement, which is for, uh, from Mr. J.S. Park, or Jurassic Park as he's known. His name is real, I've checked. Potential units affected 48,232. This is in the United States so far. And then the next document is the assembly chronology. And that tells you the order of events that they've gone through to get to this point. So last year, going through the Kia one, Kia issues, North America issues, SC271 dealer and owner notifications. And that's last year's update, along with the decision tree about what you do and doing the checking for, for, for the error code, the TCC. And if it's present, you change the ICCU. But now we've got a new version of the ICCU software and also some more information. So February the 5th, Kia Corporation informs Kia North America's Safety Office of elevated claims following SC271 software upgrade in, in other global markets. So it seems that this interim software update has uncovered more issues and they, they, I think they're finding out what it is now. And data analysis identifies totally 25 unique reports of loss of motive power after receiving software update under SC271 and shares results with Kia HQ. February 19th, Kia HQ provides Kia North America Safety Office with investigation results showing the ICC user collected from global markets show signs of damage after thermal cycling and exposure to transient voltage peaks. So it sounds like they're overheating. So this is looking very, very similar to the issues of the electronic water pump not behaving correctly in the EV9s in that TSB we saw in February. Uh, March the 1st, Kia North America's Safety Office escalates issue to sell, whatever that means. March the 7th, Kia HQ informs Kia North America's Safety Office of newly developed software, which was incorporated into production on the 27th of February 2024. So, so anything built from that date will have the new version of the software. The new version of the software is 13 that I can see. Kia North America Safety Office updates data analysis and identifies a total of 34 unique reports of loss of motor power after receiving software update from last year. No injuries, crashes or fatalities or fires were caused. March the 8th, Kia North America decides to recall all 2022-2023 MY model years EV6 vehicles and certain 2024 model year EV6 vehicles. No injuries, crashes, fatalities or fires were reported. So that is the chronology. I'll put links to all this in the, uh, in the description. And then the defect notice report that goes into a bit more detail. All 2023, 2020, sorry, all 2022 to 2023 model year and certain 2024 model year EV6 vehicles manufactured from November 17, 21 through to February the 7th, 24, 48,232 units. The recall population was determined by a review vehicle and supplier production records. The vehicle subjects to this recall were not produced in VIN order, so they can't tell from your VIN if you're susceptible to this. Description of defect. The integrated charging control unit may become damaged over time from transient, transient high voltage and thermal cycling. 
A damaged ICCU may not be able to charge the 12-volt battery, which can discharge gradually whilst driving with progressive reductions of motive power. If the driver ignores the warnings associated with the discharging battery condition and continues to operate the vehicle in a reduced power mode, the vehicle may eventually experience a complete loss of motive power. Description of safety risk, a loss of motive power increases risk of crash. Description of cause, thermal loading and transient high voltage can damage the ICCU. So it's, it's getting too hot, in other words. Audible warning chimes and one or more of the following illumination of check electric vehicles, which we, we know about. Uh, Remedy, description of remedy, all owners of, of the subject vehicles will be notified by first class mail with instructions. I think we've already seen this remedy. And they, they will inspect the ICCU, upgrade it or replace it and the fuse. Dealers will also install updated software to address the recall condition. How, how remedy component differs from recall component? The improved ICCU software it decreases thermal loading and lowers the peak voltage during operation to mitigate damage to the ICCU. So that's how it fixes the problem. So I think they, they now know exactly what it is and this fixes it, fingers crossed. Anyway, so earlier in the week, this was on the Ionic 5 and then today, this is on the EV6, also the Genesis GV60 and some of the other GV models were also recalled at the same time as Hyundai because they're part and parcel. So the next question is, when will this come to the rest of the world and the EU and the UK? It, it took weeks last time, so all we can do is keep on looking and watching. And if I find out anyone who's got it, I'll let you know. Um, when the TSB for the US version of the Kia comes out, um, that will give them the lightly recall number and code in the charging box. So I will pass it on once I've got it anyway. I hope this clarifies a few things and uh, thank you for watching.